up, YouTube? What is up? How's everybody doing? Oh, hold on, hold on, guys. So I'm currently in the new truck, the new toy. It is a manual truck, guys. Meaning how to drive manual, as in. I don't really drive stick. So I'm learning, guys, how to drive it. Well, I'm not learning, I kind of know how. I haven't driven stick in a long time, so. At the next light, turn right. Stick, but anyways, today's vlog is gonna be a little interesting because we are starting to modify the new truck. So right now we're gonna go get some wheels for the new truck, guys, so stay tuned. I got my girl right behind me in the trackie, following me in case I fuck up. Drop kit is also on the way. I think we're not even 24 hours in it. As soon as I got the truck, I bought the order to drop kit. It's on the way. Springs are on back order, so it's a little like a two week delay. That's what I read. But we are gonna go get some wheels for the truck right now. I mean, not decide if I'm gonna throw those wheels on the C10 or if I'm gonna keep them on this one. It's the welds on this truck. I don't know yet. Comment down below what you guys think. But right now, let's go get some wheels for the blue the truck, the blue OBS I just bought. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we pulled it right here to my boy Roquez real quick. As y'all can see, we already got one wheel on. Looks pretty clean. Hell yeah. Clean ass blazer he's got right here. I want to give him one of these pretty soon. And then his clean ass C10 he has right here. So these are where the wheels are coming off of. It's an 86. My boy also does remodeling. Make sure y'all hit him up. Y'all need any remodel needs, drywall needs, paint needs, does all that. Clean as little C10. But yeah, those are the wheels we're gonna be taking off. And we're gonna be putting one on the OBS. But yeah, let me go ahead and start taking them off. I already got the truck high on this side. And then we started moving shit. So let me go ahead and start removing it guys and then we'll be right back. So as you guys can see, we already put the wheels on the OBS, the new burnout truck. I think I'm gonna put these wheels on the C10. I don't think I'm gonna put them on this truck. I'm gonna put them on the other truck. But they do look good overall. I think I'm gonna put the welds on this one. This is gonna be the first wash that I do of the truck since I just got it. It is very dirty, guys. As y'all can see, it's super, super dirty in here. So I'm gonna give it a little vacuum. But the wheels look pretty clean overall. I'm also gonna be washing the track off. So I know I haven't done much content on the Jeep, but it's still here. It looks clean. I did do the brake uh, swap the other day. Pretty simple, very easy. Uh, let me go ahead and wash the truck real quick, guys. As y'all can see, it's very dirty, especially inside. It needs a very, very good cleaning. So I'm gonna give it a little quick vacuum. But yeah, very dirty. So stay tuned on. As y'all can see, just got done with the track car. Things up really good. It needed a really good cleaning. It was very, very dirty. The owner just had it parked for years, for years, for years. But now we got her nice and clean. This truck looks really, really good. I'm impressed on how clean it is. It's crazy how good a uh, good wash can make a truck look really good. We also went ahead and cleaned the inside. It looks really, really clean. Big difference from when it was. We went ahead and cleaned the whole truck all the way around. This needs to be dropped and lowered. And I'm undecided still if I'm gonna put these wheels on this truck or if I'm gonna put the wheels on the C10. But I really like how it looks. It's a nice classic look, as you guys can see all the way around. It's a really, really, really clean truck. I'm very happy with my purchase. Uh, the new burnout truck for the brand. So stay tuned on this build. We'll get more cinematic videos all the way around. But like I said, the project is just starting on this truck. So stay tuned, guys. It's just starting. Very, very clean truck. So 
so far so good guys crazy what a cleaning does guys it's still dirty i didn't really detail it i just did a quick little vacuum in here but overall it's a pretty clean truck So right now we're stuck right here. It's been like, I, I've been here for like a good, almost 10 minutes. We're stuck right here. Man, let me give you guys a little walk around the video now. So I did clean the inside, guys, as you guys can see. I am gonna replace the seat. I'm gonna replace the door panels. Probably clean up the dashboard, keep it, but gonna replace door panels, seats, window tint, obviously. Wheels look really good. Truck looks pretty good as well. Like I said, we are stuck behind this damn train, so might as well do a little video right around. But like I said, guys, the truck cleaned up pretty good. Look at that. All they needed was a good wash. The only rust this truck has is this fender. Besides that, the whole body is mint. So if you guys know anybody parting out a, a Chevy or GMC, 97 98 uh this body style this same color clean fender let me know i'm really interested willing to pay some good money guys but that's the only thing the truck has overall guys uh, as far as like body wise the only really main issue for me is that fender so i will be hitting junkyards because i don't I, I know i could just buy me a primer fender and then go ahead and get it repainted and whatnot but i don't want it to look too off nor do i want to repaint the whole front end so it can blend in so if I'm lucky enough, I hope to find me a fender like OEM, you know, hopefully I'll hit the junkyards. I'm going to be hitting the junkyard so I can give me some new seats, new door panels. Uh, this dash is pretty clean, so I might just keep it. But window tint, obviously, I'm going to go dark as hell all the way around. Hopefully I can find a fender at the junkyard in good condition, same color as the truck. Till then, I'm just going to hold off. It's not really bugging me a lot but it does need to get replaced. And if I have to, I'll go ahead and uh, buy a new fender and get it all uh, color matched, right? But hopefully I don't, and I'm lucky enough to find me a fender OEM. But if I don't, I will be buying a new one later on. It's not really bothering me right now. Like I said, it is the burnout truck, so it doesn't have to be the cleanest, but I do want a pretty clean burnout truck, so. I think this is the perfect truck for a burnout truck because it's super clean and it got it for a good price you know so it's not gonna hurt me too much to you know burn out in it maybe hit some walls hopefully not my goal is not to hit the walls but if it happens it happens and luckily there's parts at junkyards all over the place so i already have a drop kit on the way i ordered it literally the same day i bought the truck i came home and i was out in the back and i ordered the drop kit and i hc uh 57 obs drop kit so i'm gonna do control arms up front springs flip kit in the back c notch under the bed notch and shackles and possibly turn on either put these 20s on or i'm gonna most likely put on the 22s i'm most likely gonna put these 20s on the c10 and then inside of the rim because they're all polished paint the inside of the wheel like uh charcoal gray or silver i think i'm gonna put the weld wheels on the obs once it's lowered uh, on a 5.7 drop, I have this vision of how it's going to look already, and I really dig it. We're still stuck behind a train. Doesn't look like it's going to move anytime soon. Might have to bust the bitch and hit the other route, but uh, as of right now, guys, I, I wanted to give you guys a good little cinematic video shot, good photos right here at this uh, place I come to take pictures of the trucks when I'm going to sell them, but I'm not selling this one. Just gonna want to take some good pictures get you guys some before and afters once we drop the truck as you guys can see we already got some wheels for it and i did give it a little cleanup outside inside not a detail just a little quick it was very dirty clean the carpet uh 
vacuum the seats. I still want to deep clean the carpet, probably take it off and power wash it real good. But man, the interior is pretty clean. I thought it was a little worse before, but I just needed a good cleaning. And I'm pretty sure once I give it a good deep cleaning, it's going to look pretty mint as well. So I just need a new seat. As you guys can see, the seat is pretty torn on this side. But either way, I want to get the center console seat, the one that comes down right here. So I had it on my other OBS. It comes with little cup holders right here. And then push it up whenever I want, put it down whenever I want. I believe it's the rear seat of a Tahoe uh, Suburban Yukon. So that's the seat I'm going to be putting right here. And then also going to be changing the door panels. Possibly, it is manual windows right now. I'll possibly make any powered windows. So, I mean, I'm not really too like i don't really mind because like i said this truck is specifically going to be my race truck my race truck my burnout truck it could be my street truck too so um it's going to be pretty much an all-motor truck guys but i'm very excited for this build we're moving pretty quickly like i said drop kits already on this way i got headlights coming in the, the side markers i lower it i will get the window tint on so uh, as soon as the drop kit comes in i cannot wait so i can go get it dropped already Throw on the weld, it's gonna look super, super clean, guys. I'm, I'm very excited for that. So stay tuned on this build. Like I'm telling you guys, it's I got a lot, a lot of content coming up, guys. As you guys can see, we got some new trucks coming in. And uh, it's just getting, I'm just getting started, guys. I gotta get back into this. So make sure you hit that like, make sure you subscribe, guys, because you guys don't wanna miss out on all the bad ass builds I'm gonna be doing and I got coming. You don't want to miss out on those so subscribe guys and also comment down below guys i appreciate all the feedback i get from you guys it means a lot it almost at the 1000 subscribe marker so anybody commenting on there i'm gonna be picking lucky subscribers who comment down below uh and i'm gonna be sending them out some merch from my brand so stay tuned on that guys make sure you guys are hitting that like make sure you guys are subscribing and comment down below guys so i can give you guys some free merch who doesn't want some free merch but anyways guys we're still stuck behind the train, so I think I'm just going to bust the bitch, go the other route, and we might just have to save the pictures and the cinematic videos for another day. But So far, these past two purchases have been legit, and I've been spot on, guys. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit the other route, because we've been back. I literally, I've been here for a good 10, 15 minutes before I started recording, so at least a good 20, 25 minutes at this damn train. So let me go ahead and hit the other route, guys.